What's up, you incredibly smart, Magento-loving folks? Let's talk about another practice test question. Here it is. You are planning integration of a third-party resource with a with Magento via Magento REST API. For this purpose, you will review the implementation of the core web API call. You check the implementation of the guest totals information, and you found that the method takes two parameters, get or card ID in an instance of this method here. You see that card ID is the is part of the endpoint URL. All right. So let's talk about how to answer this question here. For those of you that have worked with the API, this will be very easy, which is, of course, the goal in this type of a question. For those of you that haven't, um, it's going to be just slightly more difficult, but I think based off of, you'll, you'll be able to figure this out pretty quickly. So let's take a look at a API call. Here is probably the most basic API call we can literally ever drum up. Um, <clears throat> it is a get call, and we are pulling out of our gift card repository. This is part of the expert developer course, the previous edition of it. Um, and we are, we're pulling out this gift card here and trying to get some information about it. So here is the code behind this. And I just recently added this right here before this conversation. So brand new, hot off the press, fresh, whatever you want to call it, code. <laughs> so basically, we I created a new route, uh, passing a parameter, which by the way, this parameter matches up with in our uh, get by code matches up with this card ID right here. Um, pull up this parameter. Now, this is automatically taken from the URL and passed into this method. For a, for example, a save method, uh, we would be passing in, in this case, we would be passing in, looks like we could pass in a store ID as well as a gift card object. So I think one of the easiest ways to demonstrate how to push this information into Magento is actually by getting it out of Magento. So in this case, I have uh, fetched a gift card and it is here in this format. So if, I if we were to reverse this around so that we can save it, we would do something like this. So we're gonna actually real quickly, real quick, create this. So we're going to uh, put a post method in here. We're gonna rip that uh, that uh, card ID off of there. We're gonna call this save, and it should be just literally like this. All right, so um, this is all we need to do here. Uh, I believe it should be linked up. We can do a quick check. Uh, yep, we have a save. So now we need to pass in one or two parameters. We need a gift card and a store ID. So first things first, let's go clear our cache. And actually the easiest thing is just to blow away this directory. All right, so we are, have our cache cleaned. Um, now what we can go do is create our new uh, gift card uh, save. So we're gonna duplicate this for the sake of simplicity. Gift card save. We will, oh, I probably did the wrong one. <coughs> there we go, gift card copy. Oops, I did the wrong one. So we'll just knock this back to gift card load. Uh, gift card save right here. All right, so now we take off our, our code. And we also put our post in here. So uh, what are we going to pass in? We notice that this is uh, JSON. So let's just see what do we write in here, right? That, that's basically what this test, uh, this question is talking about. And again, as always, it is so important. And, and I, I just can't state this enough. It is so critical that we constantly are doing things ourselves. Just because we might read about a study guide, study guides are really, really good. Don't get me wrong but you need to demonstrate it. You need to make this personal, and that's what I'm talking about here in this video is we're making it personal. So uh, we have our gift card. Uh, we have as, as the title, gift card. So we're going to do uh, um, underscore card. We're gonna drop it in here like this. Actually, we should put, uh, it's right. We should put uh, quotes around this. And we'll, hey, we'll be really good. We'll indent this nicely. And we're gonna put in a four on here. I don't know. Let's just do something like this. And then we'll try to send it up, see what happens. And we got an error. Let's go quickly check and see what this error says. Come over into our exception log. And we see class void does not exist. All right, so what's happening here, if I am not mistaken, let's look at our gift card uh, repository here. Uh, yes, yeah, so we have our model. And uh, repository, gift card repository. If I'm not mistaken, our save is returning a gift card. So 
the there, well, there's two ways to fix this problem here. Uh, it says so the the error says it's returning void. Well, it return it's a mismatch here. Either we return void or we return not void. I think returning void is the incorrect uh, thing because ultimately we need to know um, what's what's happening, right? So the other thing to remember is we never want to return a type of a uh, just the empty Magento needs the help of the fully qualified name. Uh, all right, so we we have this. Um, gift card, and oh, we need to update our repository as well to return a type of gift card interface. There we go. We'll clean out our caches again and call this a day with some excellent learning here. <clears throat> and that's why, again, this is so important that you do this yourself. Because you can watch a video, you can you can watch me do it, but it is nothing like you doing it yourself. And here we go. You will notice uh, all we had to do is we just took our gift card object that we pulled out of uh, Magento. We're passing it back in with a minor modification, and we are using the name of the parameter as specified in the Magento code for this. So couldn't be any easier. Congratulations. Good work. Uh, you answered this one correctly, and so look forward to the next one.